How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. So uh, if you follow the CDL, you'll know that it's finally made a comeback. So today we have part one of our Pro Player Spot series for Modern Warfare 3. Now this series did help me grow a lot on Vanguard. I know a lot of you guys actually found my channel through that. So let me know in the comments if you did actually find me through this series. But we have a few spots today, mainly just on High Rise and Terminal from the games over the weekend. And we're going to get right into it now. And I do hope you enjoy the video. So let's go. So we saw Shotzi utilising this spot in their game, so you jump on top of this bottom propane here by the A-bomb and he was actually lying down so you get a little bit of cover from this side so people aren't going to gradually see you if they come around that corner and you can obviously pop in and out of cover like that. And he was using it to look over the B-bomb which is a really good spot, if you can get the bomb planted on the outside there you're going to be able to take them out. You can climb up from the side like that or of course you can just jump across, so it could be a good one just to keep in mind for S and D. So here was a cool spot that we saw Skies using against Optic. Now if you come to the outer window here, you can actually just see to the outside of Propane. Don't walk too far because you will fall and die. But it could just be a good one to check them out because if they're moving around up there you're going to be able to see them. And of course you can watch the outside of Propane as well. So it's a good one just to check the spot really. Or maybe get a sneaky little kill. And then a pretty common spot but we saw Dashi using this one and a lot of other pros. Pretty much just come to the outside and you're going to be able to see into the window. Just a good one off spawn. You might be able to catch them coming through the door there. Or if you're spawning the other way and you beat the enemies here, you're going to be able to take people out coming down the street. So pretty a common spot, but a pretty nice one at that. So we saw Kismet using this spot. Now this could be used off spawn if you're watching the cross underground. If you can beat the enemies here, instead of just sitting in the corner and hiding, you can actually see through this little gap. And you're going to be able to check if anybody's coming through their door or down the stairs or on that top little head glitch there at the top of the stairs. It could be a really nice one if you catch somebody there. You're going to be able to beam them and get a nice kill. They might just see your leg if you come too far to the right. So just move in a little bit and you can catch people off guard nicely with this. So a nice little grenade spot we saw Hydra use on Shotzi. If you come to the window straight off a of spawn or you're probably better off with this window and you just chuck a grenade straight towards the steps they're going to bounce nicely and that's going to land just down the steps and if anybody's coming underground you're going to hit them and you know you may not kill them but you should do if it lands direct or you're going to get some in intel and know where the enemies are so it's just a good one off a of spawn there so just a couple of spots for your trophy systems you want to put one just here so it's out of sight of the enemies that are looking down the street but if people are nading this, then they're going to get taken out. And then, of course, if you put one up at the other end of the street as well for the exact same reason. So you may want to put it sort of just behind the bin there. And then also, if you're at top propane, good idea to put a trophy up on there as well. You could chuck one down here or maybe on this. Put nades coming over to underground. That's going to be key. And then another one that's pretty common you'll see people using is if you chuck one down here behind this to watch the nades over the top. And then the same for the other window. It's pretty much you want to get your trophies down out of either window. And also on the helipad as well if you're holding on there. So first up on terminal. Just going to talk about some hard point spots. Now if you actually come to this pillar. We saw Dash using this one. You're going to be able to capture the time from behind this. As well as on this pillar. So if you didn't know that it's a pretty useful one for P1. You don't even have to peek. You know you could have a teammate in Burger Town watching over it. Or a teammate pushed up. And you're going to be able to get time and also watch your flank as well. So it's just a nice little spot there if you didn't know already. Now we saw Kenny utilising the Burger Town kitchen. If you come just here, you're going to be able to watch across towards the B-bomb there. Pretty good for P1 hardpoint once again. You're going to be able to catch people who are peeking or running around as well. And of course you can jump on the top and look over like this. Now, we saw shots of utilising this in quite a lot of rounds on the s and If you come under here, straight off of back spawn over there, down the bottom, you're going to be able to watch over the cross, people coming into the plane, and you're also going to check, you're going to be able to hear if people uh, break the glass here, or come down the stairs, or even try and flank through that building there. So it's just a good spot. You may not pick up a kill unless they actually jump out, but you're going to be able to see how many enemies cross over, or hear for their stuns, nades, and off of that, you're going to be able to give your teammates con confirmation on where the enemies are 
Now, we saw Sib actually utilizing this desk to watch the cross, which I thought was pretty interesting. Now, if you stand on this desk rather than the corridor, obviously you're in cover, and you're going to be able to check who's crossing over. You can also sort of peek towards that building there and the roof. So just a good one, maybe straight off a of spawn, just to watch anybody late crossing over the map. So these are kind of common, but we saw Dashi using the wall bank spots like this. You can actually shoot straight through the plane there. And then if you come to the back of the plane, you actually saw, of course, none other than Shotzi trying to wall bang here like this. And you can actually shoot through. You could shoot towards the back of the plane to the seat where people like to sit. So a little interesting little play we saw Shotzi use was he actually chucked a smoke grenade up over this and it just bounced there and then he chowed the front of the plane like this through the smoke there isn't really any real benefit to it but i thought it was worth pointing out maybe it could hide where the smoke was thrown from if somebody's watching out the top plane there you know maybe just a little one but we know what shots he's like he tries to troll quite a lot and stuff like that but it could just be one to memorize that you know you can actually chuck stuff over this maybe you could get a grenade from here over to the top roof there or even down the corridor or towards their spawn so that's going to do it for today's episode guys if you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if it really does let me know that you've enjoyed the video and helps the channel out big time as well so if you have any spots for future episodes we're going to be trying to bring them out as much as we can so let me know in the comments if you want any spots featured on this so very further ado guys thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you all in the next episode